Many people have dreamed of exploring the universe, but it can be hard to grasp just how big a problem this would be. In this video, we'll try to understand the size of the universe by navigating in our imagination. Let's start our trip in Berlin and we'll go to Moscow. It takes about 15 days on foot, 19 hours by car, and two and a half hours by plane between the two cities. If we had the fastest airplane in the world, our journey would take about 15 minutes. If we traveled that distance at the speed of light, our journey would take only 0.006 seconds or six thousandths of a second, much shorter than the blink of an eye. The speed of light is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, which means that light travels 300,000 kilometers in one second. It's an incredible speed. Light could go around the world seven and a half times in a second. Unfortunately, none of our spacecraft can reach even 1% of the speed of light today. The fastest spacecraft ever launched is the Parker Solar Probe. It reached a speed of 68.3 kilometers per second relative to the sun in 2018, and it's expected to reach a speed of 192 kilometers per second in 2024. That's only 0.064% of the speed of light. If we had a spacecraft that could go at the speed of light, it would take 1.28 seconds to go to the moon, 6.1 minutes to reach Mars, and four hours to reach Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. So in our imaginary light speed vehicle, we could reach every part of the solar system in a very short time. But the universe is huge. Even this astronomical speed is very, very slow when faced with the size of the universe. For example, if we wanted to go to Alpha Centauri, the star system closest to the sun, our journey at the speed of light would take 4.37 years. If we wanted to go to Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, it would take 8.6 years. And if we wanted to go to UY Scuti, the largest known star in our galaxy, our journey would take 5,220 years. If we wanted to go from one side of our galaxy to the other, in a spacecraft traveling at the speed of light, our journey would last about 106,000 years. And if we wanted to go to Andromeda, the nearest large galaxy to our own, it would take two and a half million years. There are billions of galaxies in the universe, most of them much, much further away than Andromeda. According to the latest research, the observable universe, the part of the universe from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang, is 93 billion light years wide. In other words, it would take 93 billion years to go from one side of the observable universe to the other at the speed of light. Of course, we couldn't reach the other end of the universe at the end of this period because the universe is expanding. When we look at these immense journey times, even traveling at the speed of light, the solar system may seem like a prison from which we can never escape. But there are some theories that suggest we might eventually be able to find shortcuts. If we keep on trying and researching, who knows how far we may be able to go in the end. 